Good morning, beloved. Get your pick your holy Bibles and let's pray. Pick your holy Bibles. Wherever you are, please pick your holy Bibles and let's pray. Please pick your holy Bibles. Let's pray this morning. Pick, pick up your holy Bibles and let's pray. I just had my morning devotion. I just finished my morning devotion. Pick up your holy Bibles and let's pray, please. God bless you. Please pick your Holy Bibles and let's pray. Pick your Holy Bibles and let's pray. Yeah, please pick your Holy Bibles and let's pray this morning. Pick, pick up your Holy Bibles and let's pray this morning. Let's pray this morning. Hallelujah. Get your Holy Bibles this morning. It is a new month. God has a word for you. God has a word for somebody. Let's just let's just pray in the Holy Ghost wherever you are. Let's pray in the Holy Ghost as you get your Holy Bibles ready. Let's pray in the Holy Ghost. You are speaking into the day. Oh God. <clears throat> you are speaking into the day. Just open up your mouth and pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost this morning. Just pray in the Holy Ghost this morning, wherever you are. This morning, it's a new month. We are starting right. Wherever you are, just pray in the Holy Ghost. Wherever you are, just pray in the Holy Ghost. It's a new month and we are starting right. Amen. Um, just pray in the Holy Ghost. Just pray. Let's pray in the Holy Ghost. Spirit of the living God, we invite you this morning, Lord. This morning, Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that you have your way this morning. Spirit of the living God, be kere de mashe kere de mashe kababa, le bara de mashe kere de mashe kere de mashe kabara ba, spa kere de mashe kere de mashe kabara de mashe kaba. In the name of Jesus, somebody open up your mouth. It is a new month. You don't just want to watch me. Just open up your mouth. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. You are speaking mysteries. You don't have to understand what you are saying. Just speak mysteries unto the Lord. Like a rebron shake a bron shake a dama shake a bar. Leva did him a shake a bron shake a bar. Somebody just open up your mouth and pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. It is a new month and you want to speak things. You want to speak mysteries unto the Lord. You want to speak mysteries. Pray in the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of the Lord. It is a new morning, a new month. You want to, you just want to pray. You want to speak mysteries unto the Lord. Father, we bless you, Lord. We bless you. You are just praying. You are commanding the day that this day will begin breakthroughs in your life. Just pray that this day, this day will start breakthroughs. February is the month of love. We are praying that this day, in this month, you will experience the love of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, Spirit of the living God, we bless you. Father, we adore you this morning, Lord. Holy Spirit, I pray that you glorify yourself. I pray that you glorify yourself. I pray that you glorify yourself, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, faithful God. Beloved, I just want you to understand that it is a new month and God has something great to do with you. Amen. Nothing happens until somebody does something. Hallelujah. One of my favorite Bible verses is in Numbers 27. And as a matter of fact, that is not what I plan to read. That's not what I plan to read, but let's go there. This is how the Holy Spirit works. Let's, let's turn to Numbers 27. Numbers 27. Please get your Bible. Let's go to Numbers 27. This is going to be quick. Numbers chapter 27. Numbers is the fourth Bible chapter. Numbers is the fourth. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. Numbers chapter 27. Numbers 27. Hallelujah. I am reading. I am reading. The daughters of Zelophehad had... Oh, sorry. The daughters of Zelophehad, <laughs> the daughters of Zelophehad, son of Hepha, the son of Gilead, the son of Micah, the son of Manasseh, belong to the clans of Manasseh, son of Joseph. The names of the daughters were Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Teza. They came forward. Get this word. Get 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 this phrase. Say, 
they came forward. They came forward. When we say when we say someone comes forward, it means they were bold. Amen. They were bold. So this morning, that's the first key we have to pick. We have to be bold. This morning, say to yourself that I will be bold. You see, in life, when you fail to confront, you will always be seen as a coward. When you fail to confront, you will always fail. When you fail to be confrontational, what is rightfully yours may be denied you. Amen. But the, the Bible says, number verse 2, I mean, the verse 1, the verse 1 ended by saying that they came forward. They came forward. This morning, you are going to go forward. Hallelujah. Now, verse 2. And stood before Moses. Eliezer, the priest, the leaders, and the whole assemble at the entrance to the tent of meeting, and said, "Hold on, we are going." I love, you know, by the grace of God. One thing that the Lord has blessed me is that when I'm reading the Bible, I take every single word very serious. Amen. When I'm reading the Bible, I just I take every word very seriously. I take it very seriously. Now the Bible says they stood before Moses. They stood before. Remember the verse one ended by saying they came forward. Now and they stood before Moses. In this in this era, when you stand, when you stand before somebody like Moses, it is like number one that you see they came forward with boldness and they stood before him, which means it is a sort of disrespect. Amen. It is somehow disrespectful to stand before a leader like that. Amen. But they stood before Moses. What does Moses represent? Moses represents the law. Moses represents the law. You understand very, very soon. Numbers 27. Please turn your Bibles to Numbers 27. The Bible says, They stood before Moses, which is the law. He lays at the priest with his authority. So they stood before Moses, they stood before authority. The leaders, they stood before the leadership and and the whole assembly and, and everybody that was there. So hold on. So four, four points. They stood before the law, which is Moses. They stood before authority, which is the, the priest. They stood before the leadership and the congregation. Amen. So they stood before, they confronted four key areas of life. The law, leadership, authority, and everybody, eyewitnesses, assembled. Hallelujah. Okay. What did they do? Why did they do that? Okay. And where did that, where did that happen? At the entrance. That is, what, that is how you should know that it was a confrontation. They did that at the entrance. You see... Ideally, if you want to talk to a leader, you would. If you want to talk to a leader, ideally, it, it has to be official, it has to be nice, you know. Maybe you go to their office or you find a place to sit and talk. But the Bible says, please, God knows why He's giving. Listen, I, I wanted to read Psalm 126. I was going to read Psalm 126, but God knows why He wants us to deal with Numbers 27. Amen. So watch this. Watch this. Ideally, if you want to talk to an elderly person or someone in authority, especially four kinds of people, ideally you do that, you know, in a more respectful manner. But the Bible says the daughters of Zelophiah, they, they came forward and they stood before them at the entrance. Amen. They came forward. And they stood before them where at the entrance at the entrance hallelujah are we being blessed let me sit hallelujah sorry i'm sitting on my bed yeah so the bible said the daughters of, of zelufi had they came forward they were bold hallelujah they came forward they stood before the law they stood before the authority they stood before the leadership and they stood before the congregation hallelujah at the entrance which means they went after them at the entrance that until something happens we will not allow you to go until something happens we will not allow you to go listen don't be 
don't be you know the kind of pray don't be the kind of christian that that sits down and say god takes and god gives and god whatever no don't be the kind of christian that sits down and uh, and will be saying it is god that takes it is god that gives god's time is the best listen every time is god's time until you make a confrontation until you attack what is yours you might sit down and say god's time is the best god which which time is not god's time which of the time is not god's time every time is god's time listen which of the times tell me which of the times did god not create which of the times did god not create every time is god's time every time every time is god's time so don't just sit down and tolerate any any anything that comes your way and say it is god that gives and god that takes and god's time is the best god's time is now when i remember any any when i'm in any in listen i speak to you in the name of jesus that god's time is now god's time is now now the bible said they stood before moses the law they stood before the priest which is the authority they stood before the the leadership and they stood before the congregation at the entrance it means they stopped them at the entrance now listen i know you want to pass i know you want to go you, you want to step away i know you may you want to leave or maybe you have something to do but hey let's talk about business that's what the daughters they were females they were females and so if females did that, nobody has an excuse. Amen. Listen, sometimes, sometimes you have to go beyond manners. Sometimes you have to go beyond respect. What the what the word calls respect. Sometimes you have to break protocols. Protocol is simply hierarchy, respect. Sometimes you have to you have to you have to break protocols. Yes, God's time is now. Hallelujah. What did they do? Listen, before I read the verse 3, in the custom of the Israelites, you know, you realize that in the ancient days, they, they least respected women. They least respected women. They, they hardly respected women. That is why in the Bible, even in the Bible, when they're talking about genealogy, they don't mention women's name. Abraham is the father of that. Isaac is the father of that. Abraham is the father of that. They don't mention any woman's name, apart from Solomon's mother. Even her name wasn't, even her name wasn't mentioned. Her husband's name was the one mentioned. They say Uriah's wife. They they don't mention women's name, because they don't they didn't have that respect for women. And so when someone dies, when someone dies in a family, if a man dies, their inheritance goes to their first son. Hallelujah. If a man dies, Numbers 27, we are ready, Numbers 27. If a man dies, their inheritance went to their first son. If they don't have a son, their inheritance goes to who? Goes to their immediate male. And so if you are a, if you are a man and you, are, and you die and you didn't have a son, your inheritance will go to, to your inheritance you know in those days will go to the nest of king not not your daughter none of your daughters will lose will get the inheritance you know you know what i'm saying and so the man zelophia died he had four daughters no son and he died and by the law listen the man had four daughters he died and by the law the inheritance because because he wasn't without he didn't have a son his inheritance had to go to someone else in the family a male in the family and so the daughters were angry they said no way even though you are right even though this is the law but we have to break protocol this morning you are going to break protocols amen Listen, there are certain blessings that, you know, by law, by, by spiritual principles, you, you have disqualified from it. 
by protocols must be broken. There are certain things that we don't, we, yes, though we desire that we have, though we are praying that we have, we are disqualified. The devil has disqualified. Certain things, our own sins have even disqualified us. The families we come from have disqualified us. But the law must be broken. That is why we have Jesus. That is why we have Jesus Christ. So they stood before Moses, which is the law. Is the, is the music too loud? Please let me know. If the, if the music is too loud, please let me know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you, Dr. Nisa. See? Yeah, God bless you, man of God. Bishop, God bless you. We are reading Numbers 27. Hallelujah. So the Bible says, the daughters of Zelophehad, they stood before Moses. Moses represents the law. They stood before the priests, the priests' authority. Amen. And they stood before who? The leaders. So they stood before Moses, the priest, which is the authority. They stood before leadership and they stood before the congregation. Hallelujah. Uh, amen. God bless you, man of God. And they stood before the congregation. Hallelujah. And yes, God bless you. You see, in those days, when a man dies, their inheritance has to go to their son. If they don't have a son, it means their daughters are not going to get anything from it. And so the, that was the law. That was what has been going on for generations. But the daughters of Zelophehad said, no way. And the Bible said, they stood before Moses. Because their, 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 their inheritance were at stake. They were going to lose whatever their father toyed for. They were going to lose whatever they, you know, they were supposed to get just because, just because they were females. Just because of their gender, they were going to lose what is rightfully theirs. But let's see what happened. Verse 3, Numbers 27, verse 3. They said, our father died in the wilderness. He was not among Korah's followers. You see, Korah was a, re a, re a rebellious person to Moses. No, Korah was, Korah was like a, a rebel. Amen. He rebelled against Moses, Korah. So he said, you know, our father was not part of Korah's people, followers. Who band together against the law. Our father was not part of that, part of those. But he died for his own sin. You see, in the book of in the book of Lamentations, the Bible says our fathers have died. You know, uh, their fathers, our fathers have sinned. They died and gone, and we bear the consequences. But these these people are saying, no, our father died for his own sin. Let him bear his own consequences. Amen. And left no sons. He left no sons. Why should our father's name disappear from his clan because he had no son? Yes, why? Just because he doesn't have a son. That is the law, but it doesn't make sense. That is what the family has been dealing with. That is what is accepted, but it doesn't make sense. And there are so many of us, that is, that is what is going on in our families. They say, oh, in this family, in uh, people struggle to marry. I've heard many people say that, oh, in our family, um, we don't give birth early. So it is normal. It is normal? <laughs> Funny. In our family, we don't marry early. So it is normal. Who's, did God say it is normal? It is not normal. Yes, it has been accepted, but it is stupid. Yes. And this morning, I just want to provoke you that there is something happening in your family that is stupid. There is something happening in your life that is stupid. Don't accept it. Don't think God's time, God's time will come. No, God's time is now. We have accepted certain things. Listen, I always make this comparison. The, comp the, the, the difference between Jesus and, and, and Job when they were being tempted by Satan is that Jesus did not allow Satan to have his way. Job was just tolerating the devil. 
these these were these were both sons that God is proud of. But one of them forgot who they, who they were. Remember, the devil told Jesus in Luke chapter four that if you are the son of God, do this, do that, because if you are the son of God, I'm aware you carry some power. Says if you are the son of God, turn stone into bread, because I know that if you are true, if this is who you really are, if this is God bless you, if this is truly your identity, then you should be able to turn stones into bread. If you are really the son of God, there is power in you to speak things, to try to decree a thing, and it shall be established. Yes, Satan reminded Jesus that if this is truly who you are, if you are the son of God, then you can turn things around. And yes, you are the daughter of God. You are the son of God this morning. But Job was just there. And Job would say, it is God that takes, it is God that gives, da, da, da. So Satan, have your way. No, but, but... But Jesus said, hey, listen, even though I'm being led by the Spirit, even though God, ha God allows you to come and test me, come and tempt me, no, I will not allow you to have your way. Yeah. Beloved, I want you to have that Spirit of Jesus Christ in you, not that timid Spirit of Job. The timid, the timid spirit of Job allows the enemy to have his way and say God's time is the best. It is okay. It is okay when the time is right. Which time did God not create? God created every time, beloved. God created every time. The time is now. The time is now. The time for you to progress is now. The time for you to break chains is now. The time for you to excel is now. The time is now. Listen, there is power in your mouth. You don't need anybody. You don't need anybody. All you need is Jesus. In that name, Jesus. And so the daughters of Zelophead knew that, hey, we are at risk. If we don't, if we don't go for it, if we don't attack them, we are going to lose our father's inheritance. Hallelujah. So what did they do? They said, why should, verse 4, Numbers 23 verse, no, I mean, Numbers 27 verse 4. Why should our father's name disappear from his clan? Because, excuse me, because he had no son. Give us property among our father's relatives. Amen. Remember, they confronted Moses at the entrance. Yes. Confront Moses. Confront the law. Confront your family authorities spiritually. Confront them. They confronted Moses at the entrance. Hallelujah. I hope you are being blessed. They say, give us our father's property. Give us, give me my marriage, give me my blessing, give me my inheritance, give me my child, give me my financial breakthrough. Don't sit down and say, God's time is the best. God's time is now. Somebody, this month, this is what I want you to have. This is the way God wants you to know that the time is now. This month, the time is now. And you will break through in the name of Jesus. The time is now. Okay, verse 5. So Moses brought their case before the Lord. You see, because they confronted Moses, Moses had to consult God. Listen, sometimes if you don't show your character, sometimes if you don't put respect somewhere, you have been too, you have been, don't be, don't, excuse me to say without humility, excuse my French, don't be stupidly humble. Some people are stupidly humble. Oh, oh, sir. Oh, sir. Oh, say. Oh, madam. Oh, no. I'm, me, I'm not like that. Let, let people say you are proud. <laughs> I'm proud for my own. It is for my own good. Because it is not them, they will call you proud. How long must we tolerate, you know, the, 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 the works of the enemy? How long must we tolerate delays in our lives? How long must our blessings be taken out of our hands? And we sit down and say, God's time. What in our God's time? And how long? Tell me, when, when is God's time? When is God's time? 
the time is now hallelujah so moses brought their case before the lord listen you will you will give the enemy pressure you will give whoever is responsible you know they stood before moses they stood listen they and they tackled everybody whether you are good or bad they went up they stood before everybody they confronted everybody this is the kind of prayer that you mention everybody in your family's name whether they are good or bad, whether you suspect them or not, mention their name and say, listen, you are the leader of my family. You are the authority of my family. You, whether you are a spirit, you're a demon, whether you are an angel, a pastor, whatsoever you are, the time is now and I come against you that everything that is rightfully mine, I take it now in the name of Jesus. Yes, this morning I want to provoke you this prayer is going to unleash something in your life this prayer is going to break you through in the name of jesus hallelujah verse six you see after moses brought their case before the lord verse six and the lord said to him god said to moses what zelophehad's daughters are saying is right listen <laughs> This is my father. This is my father. So all these years, people are being denied of their father's inheritance. All this while, so many daughters had suffered the, this kind of law. So are you telling me that God, you do not see? Are you telling me that God, you do not know it is not right? You see the kind of God we are serving? Until you make a confrontation, you may think it is the will of God. But God will watch you and say, this guy, this lady, this woman, I've given you my power. I've made you in my image and likeness. I've made you like me. You want me to come and fight again for you? I have given you power, dominion. Do you understand what dominion is? And so, so many times I've had people, you know, when you tell people to pray and pray against certain things, and they'll be saying, God, God, no, don't talk. It's not God. You are not talking. Listen, we have to know how to pray. You are not you are not talking to God. You are talking to whatever you are suffering. You are not talking to God at that moment. Let's know how to pray. There are certain prayers that, like, listen, listen. Cert, certain prayers are confrontational prayers. God has given you the power to fight. And you're saying, God, God, every demon that is fighting me. God, no, don't, don't pray like that. That is why nothing is happening. He said, Jesus said, in my name, you will cast out demons. All you need is my name. You, not, not me. All you need is my name. My name is the weapon. Go and fight with the weapon. Don't hold the weapon and turn to me again. No. I hope you, listen, this is very prophetic. You have to know how to pray. When you have to pray against certain things, don't say, God, God, God. God, every demon, God, every spirit, God, no. Go after the demon. Go after the sickness. Go after the poverty. Go after whatsoever you're going through. Confront that thing. You have the power. You have the backing of God. And so the daughters of Zelophehad, they confronted the law. The law is right, but they confronted, they said, no, this thing, you, it, it is right, it has been accepted, but hey, it is to my disadvantage, so I will not accept it. You want a job, you, they say you are not qualified. Yes, that is their standard. Go in your room, go on your knees and say, yes, yes, I am not qualified to you, but there is power in my tongue. Yes. What did God say? God said, What Zelophia's daughters are saying, verse 7. What Zelophia's daughters are saying is right. 
So all this why God didn't know it is not right. He knew, but he needs someone to stand in the gap. He needs someone to know their rights. He needs someone to know the power they carry. He needs someone to discern certain things. God is looking for you to break protocols in your family. Don't accept that negativity. And I had a Yabushian there, you need a son, you are woke, you are a chance, son, you are woke, you will say, you need to come to me. I be okay, Yabushian, you are a war and crying Cassantem. In our family, and when we give birth, they don't know who says so. Did God tell you that? Did God say that? Now, what did God say? It says, You must certainly give them property as an inheritance among their father's relatives. So that, that was what they were they requested. They said, At least give us inheritance from our father's relatives. Even if you have to take what our father had, give us because our father had an inheritance from his kinsmen, his relatives, give us those. Now God said, Give that to them. And give their father's inheritance to them. The one the family is waiting to share. God said, give them. Listen, because they confronted the law, because they confronted authority, because they confronted leadership, because they confronted the people, they received double for their trouble. They were, they were supposed to, by law, by authority, by leadership, and by the people, they were supposed to receive nothing. Nothing. But guess what? They received double. This morning, it is a new month. Something must happen for you and I. Something must happen for you and I. Now, it did not even end there. Verse 8. This is God speaking. Say to the Israelites, If a man dies and leaves no son, give his inheritance to his daughter you see what happened because the daughters of Zelophia confronted the law God had to amend the law <laughs> God had to change the law there is an amendment that must happen in your life the law was as initially accepted by God that listen that is why he is able to change it but the people, because they confronted, because they were bold, because they did not say, oh, uh, our father is dead, we have no brother, and so by law, we will just go to our mother's hometown. No, they say no. They, they say, Moses, stand there, stand there. We respect you, but stand here. This is a serious matter. This one you want to pray in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. I want, us to take, I want us to take it one after the other. Hallelujah. I hope you are being blessed. So numbers... Oh, hold on. Let me sit where, please. I want to make sure... I want to make sure we get blessed this morning. Hallelujah. So numbers... We, just, we read from numbers 27. A man died because Zelufi had... Amen. That's my remote. Oh. A man died. A man called Zelufihad died. Hallelujah. Numbers 27. A man called Zelufihad, or you can put your father's name there. If he's dead, if he's not dead, don't put it there. Amen. And my father is dead, so I can put his name there. Amen. My earthly father is dead. Now, the Bible says. Numbers 27, and this is for this is for mostly the women. Amen. Don't sit down for your blessings to be denied you. Hallelujah. Don't sit down for the enemy to take your blessings from you. Hallelujah. Don't sit down for the enemy to take your blessings from you. The Bible says a man called Zelufia died. He had four sons, I mean four daughters, and by law of the Israelites. You know, if you give birth to only females and you die, your inheritance will go to someone else. And so when Zalufia died, his daughters knew that they were going to lose an inheritance. 
His daughters knew that because they had no brother, they can't get anything that their father had toyed for. And for so many of us, that is being done to us. Just because of something, just because of a disadvantage, certain blessings are being denied us. Just because of the law, the perimeter of a law, just because of the clan we belong to, we are accepting some negativity. Somebody is 19, they are, they are millionaires. Look at you. You don't even have a thousand dollars, a hundred dollars. You may not even have. Hallelujah. But the Bible said the daughters of Zelophead, when Moses and the leaders were passing by, they did not even wait for them to go and sit down. The Bible said they stood before them. They confronted them at the entrance of the gate. They confronted them at the entrance of the gate. And they said, our father is dead. But we will not allow the Lord to work. We want to break protocol. And so the Bible said, God, God told Moses that yes, what they are saying is right. Give them their father's inheritance. And give them their father's share in their family. Beloved, I want us to pray in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. You are praying that God should give you that spiritual boldness and strength to go for whatever is rightfully yours. Any principality, any law, any authority, any leadership in your mother's family, your father's family, your church, your group, your, your friends, your workplace. Whatever works against you, whatever inhibits your blessing whatever hinders your progress you are praying in the name of jesus god give me spiritual strength and boldness this morning let's open our mouths and pray in the name of jesus we are praying for strength from god strength from god spiritual strength and boldness from the lord in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ Father, pray in the name of Jesus. May you give us spiritual strength, Lord. Somebody open up your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. The Lord, give me strength. Give me spiritual strength and authority, Lord. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Just like the daughters of Zelophehad. Father, give us a confrontational strength. Give us a confrontational power, Lord. Give us a confrontational strength, Lord. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Beloved, are you praying? Wherever you are, just open up your mouth and pray that, Lord Jesus, give me confrontational strength. Give me confrontational power. Give me confrontational anointing, Lord. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Because in this life, if you don't confront, you will, if you fail to confront, you will lose your blessings. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now they stood before Moses and the Lord. And they said, Whatever is ours, you will not agree. Why? Why must my blessing be delayed? Why? Why must I be denied my miracle? Beloved, we are praying again in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Numbers 27, if you just joined. So the daughter stood before law, the law, Moses. They stood before the leadership. Now this morning you are going to confront any law that, that inhibits your progress. Any law, whatever reason, they might be right. They might be right. But you are turning the tables around. You are saying that yes, it may be right, it may be accepted, but you know, I I am I am struggling. It does not benefit me. Nothing, and nothing, listen, anything that does not benefit me cannot be right. Anything that does not benefit me cannot be right. It is to my disadvantage. You are praying in the name of Jesus. I want you to confront the powers of your family. 
I want you to confront the authority. Listen, whether they are demonic or godly, just confront them. Moses was not a shrine. Moses was not a demon. Moses was not a, a, a principality. Moses was of the Lord, but he had to. But they had to confront Moses. This morning you are praying in the name of Jesus, just like the daughters of Zelophehad. Just like the daughters of Zelophehad in Numbers 27, this morning you want to confront Moses. You want to confront the leaders of your, of your clan, the leaders, the authorities, the powers. Just open up your mouth and say, I come in the name of Jesus. Uh, that any law that is to my disadvantage, any rule that is to my disadvantage, whatever has denied me of my blessing, I come against you in the name of Jesus. Somebody open up your mouth. Just speak into your mother's family. Speak into your father's family. Speak into your bloodline. Speak into your neighborhood. Speak into your territory. Ter- ter- territory and pray the name of Jesus whatever is here that denies me of my blessings whatever is here that inhibits my progress whatsoever is working in that family that fights against men that fights against women that fights against progress that denies blessings this morning I come against you in the name of the Lord Jesus I enter my mother's family and I speak in the name of Jesus by the authority of the blood of Jesus in the Lord that fights against progress in the Lord that fights against my ministry in the Lord that fights against my destiny somebody open up your mouth and, and confront any law in your family any law in your neighborhood any law in your country any law anything that in Inhibits your progress, whatsoever is against your progress, whatever hinders your progress, whatsoever is the reason why you are denied of your blessing, whatever is the reason why you have been delayed in life. Uh, say, I come against you by the blood of Jesus. I come against you by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I come against you. Any law that is short set in place, uh, anything that has been accepted in the family that denies men of progress, that denies men of blessing, that destroys people marriages that destroys people's blessing that destroys people's childbearing that destroys people's ministry I confront you in the name of Jesus I override you in the name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus any fam any family law any family law any family line like a rebro shakeaba somebody I want you to take this prayer very serious because until the daughters of Zelophehad confront the law until they confronted the authorities until they confronted the leadership they would have been denied their blessing but this morning i want you to go after your family line go in your bloodline your father's bloodline your father's bloodline and say any law that is set in place that denies me of my blessing that delays me of my miracle i override that law by the blood of jesus this morning somebody be angry be aggressive don't show any respect it is not there is nothing there is no sense in showing respect to whatever is working against you what is the sense in showing respect to what is being uh, that what is causing you to be crying every day and night open up your mouth and say in the name of Jesus I come against authorities uh, I come against the authorities uh, I come I confront the law anything that inhibits my progress whatsoever it is uh, that stops me from progressing whatever has delayed my blessing I come against you by the blood of Jesus in the name name of Jesus I enter my mother's family I speak into the into my mother's bloodline I speak into my father's bloodline any law any law any rule any set of rules uh, that did the Kibroshu that is responsible for my my, my delays in life uh, that is responsible for my delays in life uh, I come against you by the blood of Jesus I come against you by the blood of Jesus I come against you by the blood of Jesus In the name of Jesus. Lake Bron Shaka Baba. Beloved, I hope you are being blessed. There is none compared to this God. I love this I love this song. Those who are not Ghanaians, please bear with me. Listen, so numbers 27. Do you do you see that do you see what God said in verse 7? 
He said, what Zelvia's daughters are saying is right. Hey. So all these years, people are being denied their father's inheritance. People, their father's properties, their inheritance. All these years, people are being denied of their blessings. All these years, people are being denied of what is rightfully theirs. So all these years, you're telling me God didn't see that it was wrong. God sees, but God always is looking for somebody to stand in the gap, somebody to confront. That is why God said, resist the devil and he will flee. He knows that the devil is around you, which means if you don't resist the devil, he will not flee. That is the God we serve. Because he has given you power. God has given you power, beloved. And he said, when you resist the devil, he will flee from you. This morning you have the power of Christ in you. To confront anything that has denied you of your blessing. This morning you have the power of Christ in you. To go after your blessing. Go after that marriage. Go after that green card. Go after that citizenship. That fruit of the womb. Go after it. It is not normal. It is not the will of God. God said when I bless you. I add no sorrow to it. God said when I bless you. I add no sorrow to it. God do not bless you. God will not give you marriage for over 26 years marriage without a child. And you sit down and say, God, God, God. No, it is not, it is not from God. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, I'm talking to somebody. I know by the grace of God. God will not give you a marriage for over 26 years without a child. It is not God. Don't, don't, don't accept that. But one thing that I know is that by your confrontation, this prayer you should always pray it every day, every day. Pray it. Pray these prayers. Pray them. Because there are certain laws that have been set in place denying your blessings. If you are not careful, you will sit down and say, "Oh, God's time is the best." Listen. God's time is now. God's time is now, beloved. The time is now. The time for you to excel is now. The immigration cannot give you, they cannot give you a, re, a tangible reason why you are being denied. And you, you are sitting down and saying, oh God, 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 why? One person, immigration, marriage, this, that, that, added. Beloved, we are going to pray again. Hallelujah. Now this time, this is something, this is something um, the daughters of Zalufia did not do. They did not go before God. Because at, at that time, they had, they had to go through Moses. It was good they confronted Moses. But this time we are going before the Lord. You are going to go before God, your daddy. And tell him that Lord. Any law, anything that's whatever it is, even in, in your camp, God. That is denying me of my blessing. How long must I cry? How long must I be in anguish, in pain? God, how long? Change the rules. If you change it for the daughters of Zelufiad, you can change it for me. Somebody just open up your mouth and talk to your daddy. Cry to the Lord. Say, Father, how long will I be poor? How long would I be without a child? How long would I be single? How long would I be lonely? How long would I be, you know, denied my blessing? How long will, will I be in the wilderness? Father, change the rules for me. Just open up your mouth and pray to the Lord. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, Mashika Bada da Mashika Baba Holy Spirit, Father, Broto Vidi Bronte Kebro, Lipantudi de Mashika Baba Baba, Likiri de Mashike Bronsheka Baba Father, come before you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord. Lipantu Vidi Bronsheka Baba Baba, Likiri de Matuva de Mashika Baba Baba, Likiri de Mashike Bronsheka Baba. Ancient of days, we come before you, Lord. Father, your sons and your daughters have gathered before you, Lord. Father, we have been delayed of so many things, Lord. Father, this morning we come to you. You are the giver of life. Every good and perfect gift comes from you, Lord. Father, you are the source of everything that we desire. Father, your word says if anybody comes to us and asks us for something, we should not tell them to go and come tomorrow if we have them. Anything we are believing you, God, for we you know that you have them, Lord. And so this morning, Father, our prayer is that may you break protocols and release our blessings to us, Lord. Father, may you release our blessings, Lord. May you release the marriages, Lord. May you release the fruit of the womb, Lord. May you release the financial breakthroughs, Lord. May you release the documentation, Lord. Father, may you release the education, the ministerial doors, Lord. May you release everything your people believe you for, Lord. May you release the breakthroughs, the healing, Lord. May you release the deliverance, Lord. This morning, Father, we come before you. May you change the set of rules for us, uh, just like you did for the daughters of Zalufia. Let the law work for us, Lord. Let the rule be in our favor, Lord. This morning, open up your mouth and just speak to Daddy. Just to, just speak to your God. And say, Lord Jesus, this morning I come before you. Ancient of days, I come before your throne. Ancient of days, King of glory, I come before you that you will change the laws for me, Lord. Father, I shake it in my shake about. it in my shake Oh, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Beloved, I want you to understand that there is hope. I want you to understand there is hope for you, okay? Lebron Shaka Baba. There is hope for you, okay? Don't give up. I just want to encourage you, beloved. That read the book of Numbers 27. Just read the book of Numbers 27. Let us spice up some anger in you. You know, Numbers 27 is supposed to let you know that listen, don't accept whatever and think God's time is the best. God's time is now. How come today somebody is receiving a, a breakthrough and you are saying it's not God's time? Somebody received a testimony today and you are saying it's not, it's not yet God's time. God's time is now. Let me say something. In the book of Ecclesiastes 9, Ecclesiastes 9 11, Solomon said the race is not today swift. Neither is the battle to the strong. You, you, when you refer that, you know, at the end, he said, it is time and chance. Time and chance. Now, time and chance. You know the difference? Time is when it is organized. And chance is when it is, when you just bump into it. Listen. Time is when it is organized. It is prepared. Time is when it is expected. The chance is when it just happens. Hallelujah. So it may not be your time. It may not be your time. But don't just wait on time. There is chance. There is an opportunity to just make it happen for you. Don't just wait for it to be your time, beloved. Chance will work for you. Almost every miracle that Jesus performed in the in the in the Bible, even his first miracle, it wasn't his time. It was chance. 
Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Even Jesus' first miracle, it wasn't his time. He told his mother, that woman, it is not yet time. It's not yet my time. But guess what? It was an opportunity. It was a chance for him to do the miracle. The woman with the blood issue, it wasn't time. Jesus, it wasn't prepared, it wasn't organized. Jesus was just passing by. By chance, because she bumped into Jesus, the miracle happened. Beloved, don't sit down and say, it's not my time yet. It's not God's time yet. I'm waiting for God's time. God's time is now. God's time is today, beloved. The time is now. I bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I just came your way to let you know that your father is thinking about you. God is so much thinking about you. He just wants you to, he just wants you to know your rights. He wants you to know the power you carry. That you can break protocols. You can break, you can confront the law and let it be changed for you. If he did it for the daughters of Zelophia, they can do it for you too. Oh God. I love the song. God in three persons. Father, we bless you, faithful God. We glorify your holy name. Father, I pray that, Father, this is the end, this is the new month, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus, the Father, this day you work everything together for our good, Lord. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, the Father, this being the new month, you will change the laws and the rules to benefit each one of us, Lord. May we receive testimonies, Lord. We receive our inheritance, Lord. For we are highly blessed and favored by you, Lord. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus the Father, you glorify yourself in every best, every person that is watching this video. Or that will get in contact with this video. Stir up the, the faithfulness. Stir up the courage in us, Lord. Father, please be merciful. May we see results after these prayers, Lord. May we see results, Lord Father. Please be merciful to your people, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Beloved, I'm going to leave you here. But I want you to be encouraged that this month God will show himself strong in your life. I want you to be encouraged that this time, this month, God will glorify himself in your life. Don't just sit down and accept anything that comes your way and say it is God, it is God that takes and it is God that gives and God's time is the best. God's time is now, beloved. God bless you. Shalom. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Thank you for praying with me. God bless you. May this month be a blessed month for you. And I, in Jesus' name, amen.